we shall now learn updating database records with link entities. So far we have learned how to create any record and uh, we'll, in this lecture we'll demonstrate how we can use link to entities to easily update a database record. The details of these will of course be covered when we'll be going for MVC proper full with the views but the coding will remain the same. Now we'll code for it so that the concept is settled in you and this will be applied to an actual example when we go to the views. Right now let us see how to update database record. Let us see the program for it. The first step is to get a reference to the record using first single, first or default, single or default so that we have our object in a variable like t. So once you should get the object in a variable like t. Supposing we are about to alter a tbl doctor record then what we should be doing is tbl doctor t is equal to whatever. This is our first step that we should be doing. In the next step, step 2, set the new properties on T, set the new properties on T, we are changing the, changing the name of the doctor, changing the phone of the doctor, you can set the new properties. Here one very important thing is, don't change primary key values because entity is highly dependent on the primary key. Primary key is something that is the central point of an entity collection. If you change primary key then things won't work. Of course primary key is never changed in any database. It is a permanent permanent indicator for that record. So don't change primary key values. Set the new properties on t, t dot name, whatever you want to set the new values to. And in the third step, step 3, simply call ctxt dot save changes. That's all. So the only thing is about propagating the changes to the database. Let us apply these steps to our current example. Here we have an insert data function and I'll put another function called private string update data and I can as usual using and here I'll search for the patient for the patient with a primary key. Let me check the database so that I can see what I want to check. So this is my table data. I'll update the name of the patient with ID equal to 10. So I'll first of all search that patient. I'll write I'm writing ctxt.tblpatients.single x goes to x dot id is double equal to 10. I can set the name of the patient to changed name. And I've changed the name. Now the next thing is ctxt.save changes and finally I can return saved, updated. So I'm just returning a string called updated and here I, I'll write in the index call I can update data. So when this controller action is called this update data will be called and then we can later on check the database for the new